let us consider a thin rod of length l and mass m and its thickness is uh, negligible it's not having a significant uh, thickness it is having some length and having some mass now let us assume that it is rotating about an axis passing to the center so the axis is at a distance of l by 2 from both the rods and is perpendicular to the plane the moment of inertia of this system can be determined using the integration phenomena and it can be proved as its value is nothing but equal to ml square divided by 12 ml square divided by 12 now the same rod if started rotating about a different axis perpendicular to the plane but passing to the edge of the rod we want to calculate the moment of inertia as it is now just now mentioned moment of inertia about an axis passing to the center which could be also treated like center of gravity as ml square by 12 and the distance between these two axes is nothing but equal to l by 2 now it is very clear that these two axes are parallel to each other so to find the moment of inertia we can use parallel axis theorem as ig plus mr square where r is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel axes ig is ml square by 12 and r in this case is nothing but half of the length of the rod so our answer is ml square by 12 plus ml square by 4 so 12 is the lcm ml square plus 3 ml square that implies moment of inertia is 4 ml square by 12 that's nothing but equal to ml square by 3 that's how we can calculate the moment of inertia of the rod about a different axis whenever the axis changes moment of inertia changes and if parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem can be applied that's the simplest way to solve the problem by applying the parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem thank you